is 4-2. Okay, so here we go from yesterday. Um, does anybody have any quick concerns with writing the equations for 1 through 9 on the first worksheet or 1 through 9 on the second worksheet? All right, yes, quick, good. Number 6 on the second worksheet. All right, let's look at 6 here. All right, here we go. Now, again, what I'll do is I'll start out here. And again, please, um, if you're having a little bit of issue, just listen carefully. All right? The most important thing, anytime you want to write the equation line, we're going to write y equals mx plus b. That is where it always starts. You good? All right? Now, m in this case is what? 3. So you're just replacing y equals 3x plus b. Now, there's a reason for the 2 and the negative 2. The 2 represents the x. The negative 2 represents the y. So all we do is what? <clears throat> Replace them, plug them in. That's how simple. So it would be negative 2 equals... And I'm just going to go ahead and say 3 times 2, which is 6 plus b. So b would have to equal negative 8. So now y equals 3x minus 8. That's it. Yes, ma'am. Go. How do you get 3x minus 8? I thought you subtracted. Subtract 6 from both sides, and what do you get? Right? Because okay, so the slope, again, it, <clears throat> it goes back to what? It goes back to the fact that we're trying to write the equation mx plus b. What's the m? What's b? So you plug it in. All right, you plug it in. Pickens, you guys all right? You all right, Jack? Good. Come on, speak up. All right. Now, um, what we'll do is let's go ahead as a class. Let's just make sure you're comfortable with number eight. I know you probably already did it, but just in case, let's walk you through it one more time. And then you should be comfortable now with graphing, or I'm not graphing, but writing the equation given a point and a slope. All right. So here we go. You listen? All right. So I have y equals mx plus b. Negative 2 equals 2 times negative 3 plus b. Wow, what did I do there? It, instead of doing it in two steps, I just what? I just did one step, and I plugged everything in where I needed it to be because I know I was looking for what? B. Does everybody see that? All right, when you get good at it, you can do it three steps. Or you can say, hey, I know I'm missing B. So to find B, I'm just having to plug everything in for X, Y, and M. And that will help me solve for B. All right? So now from there, I have negative 2 is equal to Negative 6 plus B. So B is equal to what, guys? 4. B is equal to 4. Everybody all right with that? Yeah. Now, if B is equal to 4, let's write the equation. <clears throat> y equals 2X plus 4. Now, honestly, listen, you can either do that or not. If you can't do this, you can't do the next problem either. <clears throat> all right, so you're supposed to evaluate right now how are you doing? All right, if you're not sure, you're supposed to ask me a question. What? I don't understand how this works. Which one? Because it's a lot different, right? Okay, let's see how different it is. Go, come on, good. I understand how you got B before, but like, what is the whole thing? What is this? Yeah, so listen to me. Just ask me a question. I, you don't have to preface it with, yes, I think it's, of course, it's easy. You got to listen. So what is the problem? How did you get that? How did I get 2x plus 4? All right, now watch. First thing I want you to realize is 
do you understand y equals mx plus b? And, and, I, and, and listen, I've been giving him a hard time because I want him to do better. So now he's asking questions. Now he just has to get through me screaming at him all the time. All right? So the point now is if you don't understand y equals mx plus b, you can't do the problem. Okay, so what is m? So what is the slope? Two. So I replaced, watch, how silly. I replaced this m with what? Y. That's what it says it is. So I put a two there. Now, I need to find b. What is b? So I take the b out and I replace it with what? That is it. That's it. That's honestly, and I keep telling you, that's how simple it is. But people don't listen to me long enough to understand the whole thing. In this problem right here, in questions four through nine, can you tell me what the problem is? I don't mean like the what's the question, but what are we, what are we ultimately trying to do in questions four through nine? Find B. That's exactly right. Because we already know what? We already know M. Because remember, the two things you need to write the equation is M and B. Right? If you don't have M and B, we can't write the equation. So 1 through 9, they give you M, and you have to find B. So you just plug the numbers in, and that solves for B. Good. So I'm kind of confused what you do with negative 2 equals negative 6. How is that for like well, yeah, unless you remember how to solve a one-step equation. Well, how do I undo a minus 6? Plus 6. But like, Negative 2 plus 6. Like, you can't just, like, change this. I'm not understanding your question. Like, this it's, like, it's negative 2 equals negative Plus six. 4, or plus 6, plus 6. Oh, all right. I get it now. Right? It's just, honestly, that's what I'm saying. It's a one-step equation. Yeah. All right? It's a one-step equation. All right? Now, just because she was confused with a y being zero, all right, that's the only difference here. So here we go. You ready? I don't know. We're doing your problem. So, again, just to make sure, I'm going to write y equals mx plus b down. Do we know m? Yeah. We're trying to find b. So I'm just replacing 0 equals 5 times 3 plus b. Now, I'm pretty much everybody in here should be able to look at that and just say b equals what? B equals, be careful, B equals negative 15. Come on, you got to think a little bit in the morning. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus what is 0? Negative 15. So B equals negative 15. So my equation is Y equals 5X minus 15. Any issues with that? Everybody agree? Pretty easy. You good with that? Don't be confused because there's a zero. All right? Now, here we go. Um, number 10, we're just going to practice. All right, they're trying to show you we're writing an equation given two points now. But number 10, I'm feeling totally good with. All right? First of all, I want everybody like we did yesterday, we say y equals mx plus b. And what is b? What's B? One. one. Y equals MX plus one, right? Are we okay with that? Because it crosses here, crosses the Y axis at one. Right? Everybody happy so far with that? Come on, don't be distracted. Do you understand that? All right? Now I'm finding the slope. Now, I could go. But some of you guys have been correcting me on this. I could go from here to here, but isn't it easier just to go here to here? Yeah. Everybody see that, right? So the slope is what? 
Someone tell me. Negative one. Because we went down one to the right one. Okay, I don't get how that's the same as going down. Okay, because, um, again, listen to me. Don't, don't be mad. It's because some kids aren't as good with fractions. Right, so if I go watch, if I go down one and over one, and I go down four and over four, so you would have to just physically write that down to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. You with me? Yeah. It doesn't look like it should be the same. But the fraction is the oh, same. Yeah. The fraction is the same. And that's why I said you have to be careful with that. You can find any two points. The slope of that line is always what? Negative 1. It doesn't matter what two points you select. It's always negative 1. And the reason it's negative 1 is because that fraction that you create will reduce down to what? Negative 1. You may not go down exactly one and over one. You could go down two and over two. You go down a half over half, but that relationship will always be one. All right, just to make sure I'm fantastic, I want everybody to take a look at number 11. What does it look like the y-intercept is? Negative one. So we now can say y equals mx minus one. Everybody happy with that? And now, What's my rise over run, please? First of all, is that slope positive or negative? Uh, You're going negative. up the mountain. It's so it's positive. Honestly, on the test at the end of the year, they're just going to give you, hey, is that slope positive, negative, zero, or undefined? That's how simple it is. Everybody should be able to say we're going what? Up the mountain. All right? So we know the slope is positive, but I went up how many? Up two and over what? And obviously, if I said up four and over two, would I be the same? Yes. yes. So my slope is what? Y equals 2x minus 1. And again, remember, you're doing rise first over run second. Rise first, run second. So now, come on, get back in the game. You good? Yeah. All right. Anybody else who's been struggling? All right. I'm telling you, it's simple. Simple. All right. Here we go. Now, uh, let's jump down to question 13. All right. So now what I tried to tell you from yesterday, we had to write the equation. One second. I'll let you tell me. Yesterday, we had to write the equation given the slope and the y-intercept, which was simple. Just plug in M and B because it's given. Then the next medium was... They gave you M and you had to find B. Now, they don't give you M or B. So you have to find what? M and B in order to write the equation. Okay. You have a question? Okay. So now, for 13, all right, we don't have B and we don't have M. Do we have an equation that will find M for us? Yes. So we say... We must find the slope first. So m is equal to, again, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's what we're doing. All right, and you guys that were came down and joined us, you got to speak up now. All right, if you don't know something, you got to speak up. All right? So y2 minus y1. All right? So does it matter the order in which you subtract the y's? No. I don't like negative 5 minus 3 because that's going to come out to be a what? Negative. I would prefer to say 3 what? Plus 5. All right? 3 plus 5 over 1 plus 3. Now, again, I don't mind reviewing that, so if you're not sure, speak up. What? How is it 3 plus 5? Because it is 3 minus negative 5, and it is 1 minus negative 3. Now, again, if you would just write that down once, that would click in your brain. Yeah. All right? You got to write out the formula. That's what the problem is. All right? So now we have what? 8 over 4, which is? Yeah. 2. 2. Now, listen. If you understood yesterday's lesson, now we're back to where we were yesterday. Because now we know what the slope is, and we need to find... We need to find the y-intercept, or we need to find b. Is everybody with me on this? Now, the question everybody asks me is, does it matter what point I choose? 
Does it matter what point you choose? No, it doesn't. Both points are on the line. It doesn't matter what point you choose. It seems like it does, but guess what? It doesn't. Now, would I choose 1, 3, or would I choose negative 3, negative 5? I would choose 1, 3. I don't want to deal with the negatives. All right? So your next step is to go y equals mx plus b. m was 2. My y value is 3. My x value is 1 plus b. So 3 equals 2 plus b. So b was equal to what? 1. That's not hard. All right, now do we know the equation? Yes, because we know m and we know b. So to write the equation, we would just say y equals 2x plus what? 1, right? y equals 2x plus 1. Everybody happy with that? Yes. Good for you. Good for you. No, I don't know where that came from, but let me blow it up. That's okay. That's Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I just want to make sure you're clear on that. Maybe that's where you were making a mistake, right? You okay with that? The slope form, remember, is change in y over change in x. That's just a fancy way of writing it. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Subtract the y's, subtract the x's. That's your solution, Jack. You hear me? All right. Now, let's take a look at question 14. All right. Let's everybody do uh, question 14. I'm going to shrink this down, get this out of the way. All right. And then, um, Hayes, all right, tell me about the slope. M equals what? I think it's y2. Yeah, yeah, but just put the numbers in. I don't want to waste time now. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, listen to what you're doing. You're doing x minus x. It's, but Hayes, what is the slope formula? The slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I mean, are, you, you, you're saying okay, but I'm not, you don't sound like you're okay. Copy, paste. And I'm not sure what what's the problem. You know, I, we we've done a whole unit on just finding the slope, Hayes. And and that's you, you just don't even know how to find the slope. Now, come on. You have to follow directions. How do I find the slope? Four minus negative one. Right? You can't watch me. 4 minus negative 1. Instead of saying 4 minus negative 1, how about we just say what, Hayes? Come on, buddy. 4 plus 1. Nice. Okay, now give me the denominator. What would that be? There you go. 1. Yes, now you're in the game. So 4 plus 1, 5 over negative 5 equals what? Yes, come on, that's not that hard. Now you make yourself a note. All right, make sure you're doing that. You know what you're doing. Does anybody else not how to know how to get negative one, Marcus? I'm trying to determine which point you need It doesn't. This is an x coordinate. This is a y. This is an x. This is the y. The rule is subtract the y's. Do you want to do negative 1? Oh, so you can only subtract. Oh, okay. Right? You have to subtract. That's what I'm saying. Let's clear things up right now. All right? Now I have the slope is negative 1. Does it matter what point I select? No. Which one is easier? 4, 1. 
right? I don't like the negatives. I don't want to make it harder on myself. Use the positives. So here we go. And again, y equals mx plus b. m is what? m is? One. Negative, one. Negative one. The x coordinate. The y coordinate. Uh, four. Beautiful. Four equals negative one plus b. So, Connor, what's b? Um, four is just negative four plus b. So that's negative uh, four. What is b? B, four equals negative one plus b. What? How much? You guys are absolutely 100% killing me. How do you get rid of a minus one, Marcus? What? Plus one. Now again, the reason that's a problem for some of you is because you're just not doing your work, honestly. And I'm not, you know, that's just a fact. Cutting corners. And, and I, I should show you my sixth grade math test today. It has four equals negative one plus B on it. All of my sixth graders can solve one step equation. So come on, you've been doing it honestly since sixth grade. Now, I'm not even mad. Correct what you don't know and make sure it's important to you. All I'm trying to do is just show you the logic, show you the reasoning. If it's not making sense, Connor, I want you to tell me again, how did you get that? All right, Dano, daydreaming is the issue. All right, so B must be what? Five. Is everybody happy? Now, what is the equation? Y equals negative 1x plus 5. Is it necessary to put the negative 1 there? No, just negative if you want. All right? But negative 1 is not a bad idea. All right, that means you know it's a number. All right. Go. Good, Jack. Good, good. Okay, so listen to me now. Very important, very good question. I'm going to highlight this. What is that? What letter is that? What letter is this? Right? What letter is this? What letter is this? You with me? Now, I could have chosen 6 and negative 1, but I don't want negatives. Go. But the but but. Oh, you have to do the x and y. Right, and the y's always go on the, and the x's always go on the. That's it. Negative. So the order would just be changed if you switch the order. Look, the only thing that happens is that. Right, the signs are always the opposite. All right, so that's why. All right, so again, let's give it a shot for number fifteen. And if you don't need to listen to me anymore. Just do 15, or 15, 16, 17, 18. Get it done. And then go back to the top and do the other ones. All right? If you know what you're doing. If you're struggling a little bit, I would like for you to look me in the eye and say, kind of help me out a little bit. All right? That's the whole point. All right? If you don't know something, you're supposed to ask. But some of you never do. All right? So, again, number 15. Is anybody struggling Want for me to... Call them out a little bit and say, hey, let me help you. Or does anybody want some help? Everybody knows what they're doing. You good now? All right, we're going to find out. All right, so M is what we're looking for first. So M is equal to 5 minus negative 1, which is what? 5 plus 1, which is 6. 3 minus 1, 2. So the slope was 3. The slope is 3. Katie, you good? Anybody have any questions now? Did you miss the slope? If you missed the slope, speak up and say, come on, help me out one more time. You good? 
It's good for you. This is going to be exactly like this. No difference. And I'll have a review so you don't have to worry about the test. The test will always look like the review. And he, nobody has a problem with the slope. Jack? You good? All right. So here we go. Next step is y equals mx plus b. What point do we want to use? Five and three, right? Because it's all positive. All right, so what's the y value? Five equals, what's m? Three, what's x? What's x? Three plus b. Now, does everybody understand why choosing one is a good mistake, right? Because the one is from the other point. We chose five, so I must choose what? I must choose three. I must choose three. You select a point. All right? Now, five equals what? Nine plus B. So, Connor? So then it's... This is the only point that I'm... Okay, so I'm trying to tell you, stop. Don't be confused. Put your hand down. No, Connor. This... It, yeah, because why? The 9 is it right. I need to eliminate the 9, so I do a minus 9. That's what right, you should... So minus 9 plus 0, then negative 4. Right, so there you go. Wow, I made some progress today. So B equals negative 4. So your equation is what? Equation is... Y equals... Y equals... 3 x minus 4. Oh. y equals 3x minus 4. The point is to find m and to find b. What? Good. Why did I take out the what? For what? I don't know what you mean. Shh. Okay, 3x plus negative 4 is the right answer. But we in math, we just don't write two signs. A plus and a minus is always a what? Minus. minus. Is that good? Yeah. All right. No, it's not about doing the whole thing yourself. Do the whole thing right now. All right? Now, 16 is a little bit easier. Can you tell me why 16 is easier? Yes. And specifically, this right here. Pay attention now if you want to be smart. This is called the what? The y-intercept. Everybody look at that. What is the y-intercept? B is what? Six. So B is automatically six. That only happens, that only happens when the x value is zero. All right? So this problem is easier. What? The y-intercept is six because the x coordinate is zero. When x is zero, that is the what? The y-intercept. And the y-intercept is what? B. So on all of these points over here, the y-intercept could be written as zero, negative one. This over here, the y-intercept could be written as zero comma feet five. This over here could be Zero comma negative four. All right. Thank you. All right. So now I just need someone to tell me what the slope is. Is that us? Okay, guys. One x plus six. Six minus four is two. Yes. Hey, listen, um, guys, that was pretty good today. I appreciate your attention. Uh, no homework. Yeah. No homework. Yeah. Just review if you're having trouble.